Hi, my name is Al and I'm with Above and Beyond Creative Sewing and I'd like you to, to welcome you today to a mini class that we're hosting on the Baby Lock Sergers and featuring the Jet Air Threading System. This is a Baby Lock Triumph and today we're going to be doing the four thread overlock. Now every Baby Lock Jet Air Serger comes with a quick reference threading guide which is invaluable for your use. It features every option and what the settings should be to create that stitch. So we're going to be doing the four thread overlock today. So the first setting is needles one and needle two, which I already have in the machine. It's going to ask us to adjust the length of the stitch to about 3.0. And it's going to ask us to adjust the width of the stitch to about seven. The stitch selector should be on the A spot. Basically, what that does is it tells the machine that we're going to be doing a four thread overlock. This machine does not have tension. It has thread metering. So by putting it on A, the machine knows exactly how much thread to meter out to dispense to complete a perfect stitch. So you never have to do any kind of adjusting, which is fantastic. The other option is the, the knife should be in the up position because we're going to be cutting fabric with the knife. So for threading, we need to tell the machine that we're going to thread and we're going to turn this lever down to the threading and we're going to turn the hand wheel until our jet air channels lock in place. Today we're going to be using four threads because it's a four thread overlock. And if we look up on the top here, each thread has an, a label to tell us what the thread should be. So for example, that's overlock needle one, overlock needle two, upper looper and lower looper. So how about we start with the lower looper? I'm going to bring my thread up through the guide, which is also labeled lower looper. It's very easy to see where we're going to be putting our thread. We're going to bring it straight down. The presser foot should always be in the up position so the thread nests properly. I'm going to drop the thread in. So now my thread is in the guide here. I'm going to take the end of the thread and drop it in the jet air channel marked L for looper or for lower looper. And I'm going to just push the button and the thread will be pulled right through the looper just like that. Much easier than using a pair of tweezers. Now we're going to do our upper looper, which is right here. I'm going to come into the UL part here for upper looper, and we're going to repeat the same thing into the guide here, into the looper port, which is right here. And I'm going to pull some more thread, and there's our upper looper. So the loopers have been threaded. Now, if you've used a traditional serger, you know what's involved with threading the loopers. You've got your tweezers out, and you're trying to get it in all the little channels and guides, and it's oftentimes an exercise in frustration. With the Baby Lock, it's much simpler, much easier to do. One of the other things the Baby Lock has as well is automatic needle threading, which is fantastic. Again, everything is marked up at the top. It comes with this little nifty thread angel, which is a guide for when you're threading the machine pop this on here and it gives you a great guide to thread the machine so the first thing we need to do is lower our automatic needle threader make sure this is switched to overlock because that's what we're doing and now we can go ahead and thread our machine so we're going to bring needle one thread down into the channel come straight across to the left go behind the guide much like you would with the sewing machine take the end of the thread and simply lay it in the channel that's provided by the thread angel, which is right there. And then I'm going to push the threader button, and now it has threaded my needle. And that's how easy that is. So now let's do needle two as well. I'm going to bring my threader back down. Let's find needle two thread, which is right here. I'm going to come up through the O2 guide. And again, everything is clearly marked, so it's easy to see where you're supposed to be threading. Come straight across to here, behind the guide. So we're going to take the end of the thread and lay it right in the channel, and then simply push the button, and it will automatically thread. And we're going to raise up the threader, and the needles are now all threaded. Once you're done with this, you simply pop the thread angel out, put it aside for next time. If I'm happy with what I did here, 
everything's going to sew beautifully. I'm going to put the thread under the foot, put this back to surging, close it up, and now I'm ready to surge. So that's how easy it is to thread the Baby Lock Triumph. Again, my name is Al, and this is Above and Beyond Creative Sewing. I hope you enjoyed this threading video on the Baby Lock Triumph. And the procedure is very similar to other Baby Lock Jet Air sewing machines, including um, the Accolade and some of the other machines. So if you want more information about them, please let us know. Thanks. Bye-bye.